So, salt, chili, fire in the pot. If you have a little chili and a little salt, then that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, explained to you the other day I only do strips <laughs> like that you know white and black white and black and only that is hard to, to to remember because you need also to make the same tension otherwise get twisted and these kind of techniques you achieve perfection hmm. a mistake is a hole can you imagine there's an activity where you achieve perfection? Mm -hmm. In the pattern, because you don't know exactly, they don't undo only the little piece where you make the mistake. The whole. They undo the whole thing. So sometimes you have been advanced this in weeks, and they undo. So you see a little drop in the thing, but very soft, because you need to be concentrate, and you need to achieve that, knowing, you know, like doing repeatedly, so many times that you already have even the tension in it. Mm -hmm. See? Then you wash it and then you dye it. Mm -hmm. And if you want it, then they cook. They have days for cooking with a lot of barks, uh, leaves, moss, minerals that they put into the into the um, in the pot and they cook with a special mineral that's called colpa. That I think they have sulfur. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they put key lime, salt, sometimes they put corn beer, some vinegar, even human pea. With the same plant, you will have these different brands of yellows, according what is the reaction yeah. with the, yeah, the, yeah. the chemical different reaction. one, the chemical reaction. See, because you need to make it fast from one, you don't want two, too much that color because you want a lighter green or something like that. And they were moving a lot of that and cooking. They are also, yeah. it's alpaca. Look at that's uh, alpaca, alpaca wool. So, very soft. Alpaca is also when you see in the microscope, it's a, an empty tube. Yeah. You know, and she's double spinning. See, more fine. <laughs> All this is natural yeah. wood. Yeah. Huh? The same thing this. This is also natural yeah. wood. This is the planet. Okay. That's the equator. So the first science for all human beings was uh, astronomy. Not astrology, astronomy. astronomy. Because the, the stars, it's like a big natural clock. So that's the very first expression of math, was geometry. But because the only tangible real expression of math is, is geometry. All the algebra, arithmetic, all these are abstractions. So this has been generating a whole mindset in a whole geometrical the principles. The same thing this one for us. So we can see the Southern Cross now here. Yeah. So if I take this dimension and I make a square. Okay. So I'm taking this. Yeah. Four times. Four times. This is exactly oh. the diagonal. Okay. But this is, and this is actually when we make the expression of raised quadratus, okay? But this is uh, something that happened in reality. That's the Southern Cross. Yeah. Two big ones, two small ones. This one, you make the square, this one is exactly the diagonal. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. That's a, a sacred proportion right there in this face. How important was for the people in pre-Columbian times, for the ancestors, that this temple, that's an aerophotography from the space, yeah? The Southern Cross. Wow. The amazing thing, the amazing thing is, you see the Southern Cross? The amazing thing is that, the winters, the amazing thing is that we are talking, that temple was made 4,700 years old. So the circle is female, the square is male. When we put both together, we have life. And life will be this, is the diagonal, but at the same time is the rhythm. Mm -hmm. 